A strong mountain football tradition could it come to an end. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from Bethel Middle School in Haywood County. And Rex, what's putting the program in jeopardy? Too few players showing up for practice, not enough to make a team. And that has parents meeting with school leaders here right now and players worried they may not be able to play. This is the first year I think it's happened. Pictures reflect the years Jackson Pace has played football. He knows Bethel Middle School has a strong tradition. On this field for the first time last year. We only lost three games like out of like eight or nine. Backup quarterback then, starting QB this year. So you're really looking forward to having a team, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes. But yeah. so far, there are not enough players to field a team. Everybody spent a bunch of money and they think it's just going to waste since that we don't have a team now. We were notified by the school earlier this week that they had uh, eight um, middle school football players at one practice at Bethel and then maybe 13 at another. Not enough for a team, but Haywood school leaders say this is not a matter of the team being cut. This is not a product of budget or times. This is simply a matter of not having, at this point, enough students to go out for the football team there. And we hope that will change soon. Associate Superintendent Bill Nolte says if Bethel doesn't get enough players, the school could combine with Canton Middle. But Jackson Pace's loyalty remains with Bethel, and he says more kids need to show up at practice. There's a bunch of kids playing on not the youth league that should be playing for middle school, but they just won't show up. He's urging his friends to play, and Nolte says parents could make the difference. The parents can talk to other parents who have stu uh, students who might play. Now, just by way of explanation, some of the players you see behind me are part of the Youth League. You heard Jackson Pace in that piece talk about how some of the older players involved in the Youth League he'd like to see playing formally for Bethel Middle School so they can continue to have a team. Now, school leaders say they'll wait until Monday to see how many players show up before they make any decisions. Reporting live tonight from Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13.